Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchasso and welcome back to my forgotten tutorial slush playthrough. In the background you might be able to hear slightly better now the forgotten theme music, only slightly. I increased the music volume slightly and decreased the other volumes to try to make it, you know, more apparent since I really love the music in this game and I want it to be hearable by you guys. Let me know what you think about the sound volumes, if I should tweak them a little bit more. You know, feedback in this case is really, really appreciated. So, first things first, the galleries are now gone. I believe they were there when I saved the game last night. So, yep, they got their free movement when I loaded the game, as usual. The bastards, crafty bastards. Anyway, first things first, so let's make sure that I am going to unassign my hero and reassign her to my city. But before I do that, what I would like to do... First of all, which one of those ruins is the last for loot ruins? I actually made this quest my main one and uh, hello there. I know I'm going all over the place today, but look here, there is an AI player. Now this actually touches on a very interesting subject that I wanted to talk about anyway. So let's start moving towards this location and I'll explain what I mean in a second. So normally if I found out that there is an AI somewhere and I were playing on uh, you know, endless difficulty like I, I am right now, I would be like, oh boy, let's go ahead and scout in the opposite direction or just not scout at all because I'm scared I don't want them to find me. Why? Because as you may recall, if AI sees you on endless difficulty, you know, unless it's usually just a matter of time before they declare war on you. Exceptions, yes, they do exist, is when you have a strong military, but I would only expect that if you were playing as other mages or broker lords, since they are the kind of early game rushers in this game. Possibly necrophages, but they're very weak in early game, so if you have strong military in early game, I'll feel sorry for you already. So, uh, I want to proceed, but with this topic, but first things first, let's make sure that the city is ready. I'll show you briefly what I did. I cannot buy out Empire Mint just yet, so instead of uh, wasting my production on something that I don't care about, like making assassins that cost me dust and stuff, I decided to start making a seller. I will need him eventually anyway. And I moved all my population into industry production as well. Yes, this will slow down my food growth in this city for now, but it is fine. The city has pretty good, good, good growth, food growth on its own anyway. And I really need that settler to, you know, I want the good progress to be made on him anyway. Alright, let's assign my hero. Nice and easy. Bam. My hero is now assigned and I am gaining a very nice amount of dust. Still not quite ideal if I may say so myself. So I might actually be even tempted to move some of my population out there. That said, how much do I need? 42. Oh, I see. That's an unfortunate amount, because no matter what, I will need 4 tens for that. Although, if I put the population there, then I will just need... Yeah, that seems about right. In 3 turns, I will be able to make it. So, okay, one population on death production, the rest on industry production. So, that's good. Let's end the turn for now, and I'll finish talking on what I wanted to discuss first with you guys. So, the reason why I'm now so acting so bold and just running towards the ruins anyway, despite the fact that I know that the AI is somewhere around there, is because... I'm stealthed, and if your units are stealthed, they cannot be seen by the AI, or humans either, obviously. Which is actually a very powerful tool, because not only do I not care about, for example, those manufacturers, but also I don't have to worry about AI trigger about triggering the AI countdown to war sequence. Like, you know how I told you, usually it's just a lot of time before they declare war on you. Right now, it's not, because they'll not discover me. And technically speaking, I won't discover them either, but I will be able to place spy in their city if I so desire. Okay, uh, Doragashi Manufacturing has been discovered. I don't care about Doragashi all that much. Again, I mostly care about assimilation effects, and while Doragashi has some good ones, I will need some better ones. So, yeah, let's just ignore that for the time being and end my turn again. I love the dust on 20 cent per turn. Mmm, -hmm, that's delicious. Anyway, I see some warmer region down south, so that's good to know. Uh, it's a bit far to settle, but still. Rough man is complete. That's very nice indeed. Oh, okay, he did not see me. Good. Stop moving around, bastard. Remember, if I am right next to him, he will see me and be able to attack me. So I need to make sure that this is not the case. So, as you can see, even the pathic itself gave me... Well, the reason why pathic told me to go this way is because otherwise I will lose extra movement. But still... You can trust the pathing to some extent to not screw you over. Okay, let's parley a little bit more. 
Kidna brothers in region called something located like the Ursus village and destroyed for titanium. That's actually a really good quest to complete because you know titanium plus glass steel equals the mega pole, which is very useful. So let's see. I need to see this quest for a little moment. So somewhere in region Yimzoi, that's one region I care about, and Ravado is the other one. Rimzon Yim Yom Yomazoi? Did I get it wrong? Let's double check. Somewhere in the region. Imozi. 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 Yeah, that might be it, although it's hard to say. That kinda looks like an A. I don't know, I'll check. Oh wait, actually there's a highlight on this. Okay, that's the right place to ban. Good, I'll come back there later. But I still don't see Ravado in the region. So I need to look for it. Okay, let's keep walking then for the time being. This is an amazing quest. I hope I'll be able to fulfill it. Empowerment is ready for construction. That's lovely. Let's get it ASAP. And start working on it inside my city. Nice and easy. Two times for empowerment or a seller. I haven't found a perfect place to settle right now anyway. This seems like a very cold world so far. I mean, everything here is cold, which is just disastrously bad. Even this place, even though greener, seems kind of cold. I don't know where to look for a warmer region, to be honest. I look. It looks like I'm in the middle of the planet where the equator is supposed to be, but as we discovered, Endless Legend is sometimes a bit weird, where equator is the coldest place and the poles are the warmest. So I guess I have to go to north and maybe I'll find something warmer? Question mark? Logic? Anyone? Anyway, I also found some red stuff as well. Alright, that's good. The more I scout, the better. That's the beauty of having stealth units. I don't care as, I lo as long as I don't directly run into an enemy, so that's good. My hero is doing just a fine job, giving me extra dust, I love it, she's gonna gain level ups when Empowerment and Cellar are done, which should be relatively quickly as well. Can I actually move some popular- oh, I can! Uh -huh. I can actually walk on food for the time being as well, since I'm not working on a Cellar. Can I move again? I doubt it. Yeah, I cannot. Also, I don't have to worry about dust right now, because, you know, I've got the dust redress, so I can walk a bit harder on what, really? Don't really care about anything, so I guess I'll keep on dust production for now because dust is really important for you You do need a lot of it in early games forgotten. Trust me you do Okay, so let's keep working on that for the time being and I think I can just entertain for now drink a little bit of water if you don't mind hmm. Glimpse of a new era, so this is one of the examples when somebody else actually beat me to era 2 but then again, like I said, my early start in this uh, region was really, really dust poor. Usually I would have a ton of dust if I settled in a place where I usually like to settle as the Forgotten. So, usually you could actually see yourself as a human player reach era 2 in just 9 tens, no problem, if you were settling right and of course playing as the Forgotten. Because that happens, it really does. But right now we are playing in a big exception game. <laughs> As it always happens with my playthroughs, I just realized, why is it that almost every playthrough tutorial I make, it's like, oh, this is the only exception to my rules, seriously? <laughs> oh, World Generation, it hates me so much. Anyway, w let's see, let's have a quick look at the legendary deeds. I actually haven't done so this playthrough, I completely forgot to see what they are. So, Wealth Harvester, be first to activate free luxury resources boosters, so somebody, some AI has already started doing so, that's not a big surprise, I don't have any. So it would be hard to complete. Getting that extra wine would be uh, that kind of nice, but still I don't see myself getting that extra initiative. That's super important for the Forgotten actually, by the way. Because you do want to be able to attack first, because aside for the assassins, every unit you have, which means just predators and uh, whatchamacallem, mists, they benefit greatly from being able to attack the enemy before the enemy attacks them. Especially mists, let's be honest about that. So this is a pretty good deed to complete. But possibly getting 8 villages, even with my inst almost instant knowledge of this trade, it's gonna be kinda hard. I'm pretty sure AI will beat me to it, especially since, you know, there are draken in here, they tend to do that stuff pretty quickly on their own. Right, so let's see the other things. Master of Markets. Yeah, that that's not gonna be a thing, I don't think. I don't even care about it that all, all that much either. I don't... I'm not a big fan of making those wide empires of the, as the Forgotten. I think they're good for tall empires instead. Because while their military is good and adaptable, because of how fast it can die, despite the fact that it's cost-effective, it might be hard to protect your borders if they're really, really wide. And uh, 
it's just easier to keep everything under control if you are more condensed, if you know what I mean. It's mostly a military decision than anything else, but I personally like to keep it to my own and just compete with the wide empire through the use of my spies rather than my armies. So, yeah, trader is not gonna be my thing for me, most likely. Of course, war is warrior for free counter, always amazing. And defeat three armies led by a hero. Thankfully, AIs are gonna have some difficulty doing that as well, and to make it better, there are three faction quests that I'll gain that will include fighting enemy heroes. So, I'll complete it by myself without forcibly complete it, I mean. But if I have to wait for that long, since that is quite late in these faction's quest storyline, that will be kind of dumb. So, I'll probably have to try to just directly attack some AI to get Warriors Warrior. I definitely do want it though, because free counter. Especially on mists, it's actually not as amazing as on some other units, but it is pretty useful, as it is on any unit. And of course, Mega Pole, I'm gonna try to get it. If I can just get this 15 in, uh, titanium, that would be great. Alright. Oh boy, somebody is expanding quite quickly, but maybe that's good because they will fight with the Volters. And by the way, yes, I do know that those are Volters or rather Mazari, because I actually set up the AIs to be color coded because, you know, I wanted them to be color coded. I just felt like it. And I wanted to see some AIs that we haven't seen in a long while. So, for example, I know already that those guys are the Wild Walkers because when was the last time we've seen Wild Walkers in my playthrough? I'm not even talking about when was the last time I played them on camera, but when we saw them on the camera. I don't remember that. Similar thing for the Mazari. Draken are just a pain to deal with, so that's why I included them, because I need a challenge. I included Necrophages because they are also really scary if they get, uh, you know, uh, no, if nobody competes with them early on, then they get scary. So again, I included them for difficulty factor. And for low reasons, I included other mages as well. So that's the AIs we're gonna face. I hope you don't mind that I didn't leave the AIs on random like I usually do. I just wanted, you know, I wanted the ability to pick my enemies for a change. Okay. Let's not stay right next to the city, let's go through the north side of this little lake and make sure that I avoid the enemy this way. By the way, if I wanted to infiltrate the city right now, I could. All you need to infiltrate a city is A. So, influence. B, division of our city you want to infiltrate. Would I want to infiltrate a guy? Not really. It's better to infiltrate cities that have some more... That are more valuable to the enemy, simply, uh, simply speaking. Especially the capitals. Just infiltrate it and then you have an option of either stealing tech, which is nice, or just poisoning the wells and killing everybody, which is always fun. Especially against the AI. Actually, no, scratch it. Especially against the humans. <laughs> what can I say? Alright, then, so, so far so good. But it definitely looks like I'll have to expand north, since south is getting kinda occupied, don't you think? Hehe, <laughs> you think? Yeah, okay, whatever, I'll shut up. Let's end the 10th round, drink a bit more. I should have brought some juice for myself, it's been ages since I drank it, okay. Legendary deed no longer attainable, how surprised am I? Not at all. I can now go for an empire plan development, question is, do I want to? So here's the thing. Empire plans, when you play as the Forgotten, are things that you actually can sometimes omit, even completely, if it allows you to instead go ahead and put a spy into the enemy city and start infiltrating it and getting good spy actions. I have many times ignored Empire Plans for as many for as long as even 2010s, so I ignored the first two ones, in other words. Just to be able <coughs> Oh I'm sorry. Just to be able to infiltrate the enemy and get my techs or mess up with their economy and things like that. But right now I don't have a good city to infiltrate, that's the first point. Secondly, seeing how I was low on dust this uh, so f this far, and was unable to obtain a good amount of tech early, I think it's kind of important for me to actually reduce the cost of my researches. As you can see, the Forgotten have different, slightly different empire plans to other empires, so I don't get extra science, I get extra cost reduction, f you know, because I'm buying out tanks, so that makes sense. So, in this scenario, I am going for this, and usually I'll say that it's Almost like a 50-50 coin flip if I do go for science in industry during the first empire plan or if I don't do this. If I find the enemy's capital, 
then I'll definitely put a spy instead because it's just so valuable to put your spy in enemy's capital as early as it is possible as the forgotten because it just makes them a very easy target. I love it. But in a situation like this where I haven't seen the enemy's capital and I especially if I was low on dust as well it's much better to go for the empire plan instead and wait for a little while before putting your spy anywhere. Okay, let's keep moving. I love the phasing animation by the way and uh, that's a problem those sellers might see me, especially if they're moving up north. So what I'll do is move over here. I cannot reach the ruins to stand anyway, so I'll just wait here for one turn and do nothing so that those guys don't run into me and don't discover me, which would be bad. That said, I kind of want to kill them because they're going north, which is where I want to go. But then again, it looks like this area of north is still pretty cold, so I don't really care about it that much. Okay. That's bad I had somebody working on food when I was making a cellar. I missed it completely. Wow, that's kind of bad. And that's okay though. For now, let's put this guy over there and let's see. Do I want to research cultivation? I undoubtedly do, but I'm kind of worried winter is about to hit. So cultivation may not necessarily be all that useful since seed storage mostly works during summer season. It's not useless in winter, of course, but it's still... Um, a bit worried, but I think I might go for it. Alternative is for extra happiness, since extra 20 happiness, this will be enough to make my city happy, and this will increase um, not only my food and industry production, but also my empire-wide death production, which I'm more interested in. But will that pay for the cost of the improvement? I don't remember how much of benefit I get for fervent empire. 20%? Um, it, or maybe it was, no, I think it was 15, or... I forgot, ah, it's so shameful for me. Whatever, I don't think I'll do this. I will go for seed storage. I don't know, maybe the winter will wait for a little bit longer. And I shouldn't wait for too long with seed storage. I will need it eventually at the very least. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's start working on that as well. And let's see how can I split my population. I can, seems like I can split it up pretty well. But in fact, I'll just go all out, all out working on industry to get seed storage as early as possible. Maybe actually get some use of it before winter hits, which would be nice. Not going for husband in the center first yet, because I want to decide where I want to have a city with massive amount of districts. This might be a decent candidate because of the river here. This, I mean, I love how the river is positioned here, but it might not be the best area either because it's kind of cold, so... Um, I don't know. I mean, tundra grass is okay, but still, I have to think about it. I might or I may or may not do it. We will see. What is my next research that I'm gonna go for? I'm not sure yet. It will depend. If I need some military units, which is unlikely, but if I do, I can always go for predators. If I find some resources I can gather, obviously I will go for them, but I haven't found any as of yet, which is a bit of a pain if I may say so myself. And of course, happiness is always an option, but for now, let's do nothing. Dismiss all the pop ups and wait. Wait my turn. I meant to say end my turn. Also, I can start working on an assassin. And actually, I, what I can do as well is to get predator attack just to be able to kill, start killing the Galadriel's village. Which, in fact, I think I'll queue them up just so that I remember about it. And I might buy them out next turn just to kill the Galadriel's. That might be a good idea. Okay, so the settlers, they're gone now, which is good. Uh, they are over there. As expected, they're gonna settle in... Uh, cold region all right i can see it's a cold one because of the color so all right no big deal now do i want to uh, i mean i do need to assign my hero if i want oh no i actually don't oh no i do it gave me for a second i was surprised it was like wait what they changed the last full loot no they didn't i just got the effect from discounting the ruins but i now need to assign a hero to my army to actually do anything with last full loot but since my hero has you know extra cooldown has less cooldown on her an assignment i can do that quite easily it will give me less dust next then but still i'll happily do it because last four loot is kind of awesome so let's do that search ruins again and i got titanium wait that gave me titanium holy balls <laughs> i didn't even realize wow okay that's uh huh. That's an interesting conundrum. I usually don't get this much titanium and glass steel this early on as they've forgotten, but now it's just calling to me like, build a mega pole, do it, do it, you know you wanna do it. Um, I don't really, not in this region though, but being able to make it so early, oh, it's so tempting. I need to think about it. I can't let my temptation get the better of me. 
Okay, so first things first, I want to send a spy. So let's have a quick look at the enemy's region, see what they have. They have a lovely region, I would love to settle in here, I mean, look at this. They don't have a lot of dust, but it, this type of warm... This type of... This type nah, I can't speak. The, what I meant is that a region with this kind of temperature is pretty good for what the Forgotten like. It says it has everything, it has both food, industry, and it has dust as well, so... It's a pretty good region to be in, but of course the Mazaria there. And by the way, the reason why it's a question mark is because, tech speaking, we haven't discovered each other yet. Because I, knew, I did not introduce myself to them, and as such, they haven't introduced themselves to me either. Okay, so think about Industrial Megapole right now. It will take 6, 17 turns anyway. That's a long time, so I'll just be. I'll just pass for now. I what I am going to do is I will bow the predator, like I said I would, and let's go ahead and have a quick look at the predator. So predator, as you may imagine, extremely powerful unit, and you do want to keep the double crossbows on him, in my opinion, because you know it's double crossbow power. It's preferable to having a singular bow, in my opinion. Although with bow they do get extra damage, which might sound like a pretty nifty thing. Crossbows that give you more initiative, which I care quite a bit about. And in total, they also give you more attack, which makes them more likely to hit the enemy, which is more important than getting more damage, because again, Petrol's Mark takes care of the damage for you. Essentially, you'll be able to meta anything anyway. So yeah, let's keep them as they are. I am sometimes kind of tempted to give them extra movement speed for now, though. They're okay, I'll keep it as they I'll keep them as they are. So let's go ahead and queue up a pred- no, no, not a mega pole, stop tempting me in my subconsciousness. A predator! I know it's a similar to a mega pole, but no, a predator. And let's make a cellar as well. And start moving in the direction, general direction of north. So let's have a quick look. Oh, I love this animation. Okay, that's like a ladderis. No, in my luck, he will accidentally discover my cellar, so... Let's move to this now. Nidia, that's good to know. And another cold region! And more cold regions to the north as well. Seriously, what is with this world? It's so cold in here. Man, that's... And I did set the temperature to temperate. It's not wood generation preset cold or arctic or something. It's just supposed to be your average elf-like looking planet. But no! Apparently we have global coldening. I don't think that's a word, but whatever. Okay, let's end the tent for now. Drink even more, because I'm a thirsty bastard. Alright, those guys are like me, they have no reason to like me, but they like me nonetheless, and oh, no, 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 okay, they did not discover me by accident, good. Fortunately, there's a lot of force in this area, which is going to make my movement quite a bit slower, which is a bit of a pain, but that's okay, because I'm finding dust, which is what's very important. I suppose my hero hasn't leveled up yet, how much experience does she have? She have a 55, she's about to level up, good. I'll give her enough seniority bonus, and she'll be an amazing spy. So there's that. I kind of want to keep completing Last for Loot, but that's not of the biggest importance for me right now. Even though Last for Loot is amazing. But I do want a spy inside of the enemy city, so... I'm sorry, okay. I kind of tempted to get a quest for the Nidia, but I know I wouldn't settle in any of those, actually. This region seems to be ending here. So maybe if I keep going north, I don't know. Alternatively, I can keep going in this direction. It's hard to tell what kind of region this is. It looks cold as well, though. Just by looking at the border. Uh, let's get a quest, maybe? Yeah, we'll get a quest, whatever. It feels like a bit of a waste, but I wanna get a quest. Next Empire plan, put people in... put focus on economic population for pacification. And no. <laughs> I mean, I will do it at some point, most likely. I'm not planning to go military anytime soon, but generally speaking, no. There is that done, I can dismiss all the pop-ups, and I can just freely end my turn. Although, research-wise, I could go for something else and then gain access to Era 2, which is actually kind of important. Now, I have an option of sorts. I can ignore the fact that I was so lucky to get Titanium for a Mega Pool, and just use that Titanium to get Canal Locks. I'll think about it before starting the next video. It depends. If I find a good location for a city with a Mega Pool, a location that already has a decent amount of industry, then I'll go for a Mega Pool. If I don't find any, any warm region at all, or at least any region with a lot of industry, then I might reconsider and go for Hydrology in my capital or somewhere, just to allow myself to have some kind of an army, because yes, I will need that army quicker, sooner rather than later. Not very soon, I still have time, it's not the end of the 
world, but it's not ideal, if you know what I mean. Okay, so what tech do I want? Because I will want the access to Era 2 anyway, regardless. Might as well get access to it right now, so... Especially since it will level up my units and my Predator as well, which is kind of important, so... Which tech will I definitely need? I will definitely need the tech to get Titanium and Glass Steel, but I don't see them anywhere as of yet. But I will get that tech anyway, since I will use that anyway. Alternatively, I can go for Sewer System, because I'll definitely, definitely use that. In fact, fairly quickly, I'll use it in my capital, and it will be more of an immediate bonus as well. So... Yeah, let's go for Sewer System for now. I haven't seen Arcane's Furnace anyway. Anyway, this will have to wait for an extra 10, so that's fine. Let's end at 10. How long is this video? 25 minutes. Alright, let's wait until 30. And I'll end it probably around that time. I don't want those videos to be too long, especially since I'm trying to keep a tight schedule this time around, unlike usual. I mean, last series I did keep a tight schedule, but I was able to do this because I pre-recorded most of my videos, so yeah. Okay, annoyingly enough, looks like this is actually a regular world and the equator is just strangely far down south. Because there are the warm regions, and everything above it looks like it's just super cold. Which might be a problem, I'm not gonna lie to you, but let's keep looking for the time being. I kinda want to discover what's inside those ruins, but the cliff makes it hard. Okay, let's go towards those ruins instead, because I wanna see more regions. Oh, great! More cliffs! And more cold re Seriously? No anomalies that give me industry? No anything, this is horrible. Yeah, I mean, this gives me like 11 industry output, which is, I suppose, not the worst thing ever, but... Uh, I'll need to think about it. Maybe I should stop looking for a warm region, but I really, really, really want a warm region. Alright, there's some glass steel here, so at least there's a some reason to settle here, but... I don't know. This is really not an ideal starting position for me. I'm not liking this one bit. Let's reset the super stem, get myself to area 2. Nice and easy. Here to epic music. Queue up the sewer system and uh, can I move some population? Yes, but it will delay my predator. I didn't want that. I want to kill this village as quickly as possible. A single predator and reinforcements from the city will be able to do it in most likelihood. Right, let's keep looking as my faction theme music is playing, which I love. I keep stressing out how much I love it, but I do really love it. I'm having some crazy thoughts about m moving myself past the two enemy empires and selling down south, just so it would be warmer, but that would be a suicide note. Okay, now those bastards are blocking my axe to the ruins because I don't want to discover the voters just yet, so... Alright, I want... Where is your city for crying out loud? I keep looking for it, but I cannot find it, it's most annoying. I want to put a spy in there already. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll live, I suppose. Okay, you... Keep looking. There has to be something warm around here. Although, looking at where Equator is, which I actually have no idea where it is, it's a weird planet we're living on. I don't know. Something that's a bit warm? I, maybe not warm, just give me something with anomalies. That's not an anomaly, that's emeralds deposits. I don't care about emeralds. Cold, 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 everything is cold. This is... Really not good. Alright, I'll have to come up with some contingency plan. Sitting up in this area... Of this area south, uh, I need I, I at least give me a good anomaly. Like some right here has to be an anomaly, right? Or maybe a titanium deposit, right? Something. I will see. I'll see. I'll make the decision in the next video. But my prediction is for now, I'll settle here no matter what because I've been waiting for way too long already. I should have two cities by now, and I will be working on my third one. So yeah. That is a problem. Let's queue up another seller, I think. Nice and easy, and... Can I move some population? Yes, I can move it into dust production, which is actually kind of nice. So let's move one population into dust production, or alternatively I can go into influence, which I will need, but I need the dust to support my newly created army, which I will use to attack the Galerius. I should have enough of an army with the addition of my Predator and the support of the Militia, Am I right? We'll see in a moment. So let's go ahead and start the fight. And this will discover a little bit of terrain for me as well, which is always nice. Alright, so I'll see you, show you the... Oh, I forgot how fast those guys are. Yeah, this will actually be a bit of a tough fight. But I'll show you the power of the Predator anyway. Okay, one, two, three. I'm slightly out of range, annoyingly enough. So one, two, three. Now I am in range. And those assassins will block this guy for coming near me. So that's good. 
Okay, let's set up with this kind of setup. Now, the assassins. Let's go to around here so that the other Galerius cannot easily go to my predators and that predators attack. It's a shame they don't attack the first before my, what you might call, assassins because then the assassins would already have the predators' mark benefit, but whatever. I like the, everybody's orders. You stay in your city tower and go ahead and fight. The reason why I want my unit in a city tower obviously is because of the extra morale it gives me. Alright, give me my predators' mark, yes. Okay. Unfortunately, the enemy is smart and is gonna go straight for our predator, which is gonna be really, really painful, in fact, actually. So that's a bit of a problem. And my militia isn't fast enough to stop the enemy either, which is an extra bit of a problem. Alright. You move to this town, weaken this Galerius. You try to move slightly out of range, and I can either apply an extra Predator's Mark onto this Galerius to make sure he dies easily, or I can apply one point of Predator's Mark on this Galerius to make sure that he has something. So, I'm thinking about the ladder, because this... Yeah, I'm thinking about the ladder, since it looks like my predators will die in a single hit right now. Which is kind of bad. Especially since they have less morale now. Okay, let's see how it goes. First of all, let's make sure that this guy doesn't do anything annoying. And look at the amount of damage I dealt to him with the extra 20%, that's nice. And, oh wow, that's actually kind of lucky. The enemy wasn't as smart as I thought he would. He's blocking my reinforcement, but I don't have any reinforcement, so I could kill less. Alright, that's awesome. Uh, I'll leave this guy to a militia. No, I cannot leave him to militia because then he'll attack my predators. So I'll leave this guy to my assassins and I'll attack the other guy with uh, my militia and the predator. Nice and easy. And yeah, the enemy stood no chance whatsoever. That's nice. Ow, I forgot about this sweep strike back. <laughs> Oops. That was an idea. Oh well, I don't care about the lost assassin too much and both of the enemy letters are dead and now I don't have to pay for the assassin woohoo that's awesome yeah I mean it's not ideal but whatever failed objective oh well I didn't want those guys to be there anyway let's transform my unit into a city so that I don't have to pay for them dismiss all the pop-ups and I'll end my turn and end my video ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching winter has come apparently and I still don't have a second city this is Kinda of bad, but I'll try to make it work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you online.